What's up my lovely love bug goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen. I'm going to share it to you by must after Christmas. Jamaican salt fish casserole per my table. What? Fast, easy, and simple. Now, this is a must try recipe. I guarantee you're going to love this one for this Christmas holiday. Yes, boy, you're going to love it. Be sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications to be reminded every time your girl upload a brand new video. You ready for the recipe? Then let's get started with the thing, the man. Where you coming from? You don't remember where you're coming from? You don't remember where you're coming from? Rastafar, I, I. Why you turn your back on your brother when him need you? Need you know, remember the days I'm when him feed you. Need you know, when no obligation, but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him one to get turn your back on your brother when him need you. Okay, love bugs. I'm going to show you how to make the best saltfish, Jamaican saltfish casserole in your kitchen. Now, you are going to need your Jamaican sweet potato. This is the main event for the recipe. You have to have this. Oh, you're going to prepare it. You're going to go ahead and peel it, slice it pretty big right and boil it until it's nice and tender do not make it come mash up mash up you want it to be still holding just like this nice and tender to the touch right you're going to go ahead and remove it from the pot and put it into another container once you get it into another container all you're going to do here is get a sharp knife and you're going to chop it just like this you don't want to crush it like you're doing um, mashed potatoes you want to go ahead and just chop into the sweet potato just like this because you want to have bits of chunk in it you want to be able to taste the the uh, sweet potato right so after you don't do that you just go ahead and sit that aside that is the main event now to complete your dish you're going to need all these veggies bell pepper any color of a chest is fine onion tomato scallion and thyme garlic and you definitely need um hot scotch bonnet pepper to the recipe right you cannot skip and you cannot substitute none of these vegetables you are going to need that in fact to make your casserole now here you could use your jamaican saltfish for the recipe that is mainly preferred right but however you can use whatever kind of saltfish you need as i'm using here i'm going to use the pollock saltfish it's boneless and it's just as good as jamaican saltfish you are also going to need cooked white rice only if you don't want to go white rice you could use wheat but i prefer to use cooked white rice you're going to need cheese any cheese of your choice i'm using mozzarella because why well, i just love mozzarella and now we are going to combine now go ahead and put your sawfish in a pot of hot boiling water allow it to cook for a third total of 30 minutes however after 15 minutes you remove it from that water throw it off add fresh water to it Give it another 15 minutes of boiling and your sawfish will be ready. That will total 30 minutes of cooking time. Now, after 30 minutes, that is what your sawfish is going to look like. Go ahead, throw the water out and pick the sawfish into your desired pieces of your choice. You can also soak your sawfish from overnight. That works pretty good, but I prefer to boil mine, right? Make it your own bowl now that is what your soft is going to look like for cooking now if you cook up a soft fish make sure you say have a pot of oil nice amount of oil you're going to need for the recipe and be sure that before you add your time to it you remove the leaves from the stem and cut up your scotch bonnet pepper so it disappears in the pot i'm afraid of pepper but i'm not no chance for this recipe now i'm going to go ahead and put all my veggies into that oil and yes you need enough oil for this particular recipe because you are making saltfish jamaican saltfish casserole 
right now after you go ahead and add all your vegetables into that pot of oil you want to make sure that your veggies are turned and cooked for at least five minutes only you do do not want to overcook these veggies because you want to be able to see them once you add them to your casserole and it needs to be nice and crisp but yeah cooked now to that i'm adding a little bit of apple cider vinegar and you could use any kind of vinegar of your choice apple cider vinegar give us a nice little crisp now add some black pepper for flavoring because we need it for taste good i'm using my combo season but of course you could substitute for whatever you like but do not add salty salty seasoning i'm also going to add some all purple season because all purple season goes on anything a little bit of garlic powder of course go ahead and add your garlic powder in because you want to season and give those veggies flavor add your onion powder do not skip that as well now in addition to that I'm adding a little bit of paprika because I want to give my veggies color once I add the salt fish in and I want my casserole to have a nice color as well so go ahead and do not skip your paprika give it a nice little mix and then go ahead and add the salt fish in immediately after you do that right after you do that and combine everything all together allow that salt fish to simmer and cook for about five minutes that's all you need because it is in fact going into the oven so you don't need to overcook them things there that's all you need now we are going to stack our casserole honey but be sure that you have your oven already turned on so this has to go in a preheated oven now once you put your cooked rice to the bottom of the dish press it down nice and flat then you go in and add the salt fish next and press it in every time you put anything in there you go ahead and press it in you press in the sweet potatoes all the way in and this is my Jamaican sweet potato press it down and then I add my mozzarella cheese and you could use any kind of cheese that you prefer but this is what your girl loves. your girl loves some mozzarella then I went back on the pre step number one by adding my cooked rice and add my sweet potatoes to it press it down then went back in add my saw fish press that down and then add the cheese again pan top right it's going to look just like that and kind of does give it a little help press it all up in there and that is what you're going to need put it in your oven preheated and let it bake for about 40, 40 minutes stops and you're good to go now while you're here still watching me cooking to say this and to say that make sure that you have subscribed to the channel and turn on your post notification settings so you will not miss an upload such as these they're always fast easy and simple to follow if you do not see what you want ask because your girl is always here to what to deliver now if you're still here watching me and listening to me rumble go ahead and subscribe to my second channel the link for that channel will be listed down below i have all kinds of things that's going on over here all my vegan goodies your recipes are over there okay and they will be coming more are come soon 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 if you don't see what you want ask a girl and it will be what delivered all my story times are over there go ahead and check them out they're always interesting and truthful now thank you for all your love and support i love you guys so 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 much now after your casserole is all set and all done and it is smelling good and it's looking good your jamaican sawfish casserole is one of those things that you just have to have by your jamaican table when it comes to the holiday this recipe my aunt showed me how to make this casserole and thank you auntie this recipe is always for you anytime i make this sawfish casserole i always think of my aunt this is one of the most delicious jamaican recipe that you could ever have in your jamaican kitchen 
it impress everybody every time anytime you mention jamaican selfish casserole people be looking at you like really i never heard of that dish but honey they are in for a treat because guess what when you cut into this casserole and you see all those good layers and yumminess of potatoes and salt fish and the bell peppers are colorful the smell coming from that salt fish the moisture oh oh it, it's so so good and the cheese just combines everything also together the onions oh the season that you put on it earlier it is everything you are just going to love it as well as your guests them are gonna love it because boo when them when them dig into this thing they are in for a treat they, they will be in for a surprise your selfish your jamaican selfish casserole is going to be a showstopper on your table not only for the holidays but any time of the year give it a try goody you are going to love it look at that you see how that looks that sawfish is just baked into the rice perfectly perfectly and the flavor o to the m to the g you are gonna love it boo you are gonna love it trust but me tell you you are going to love this jamaican sawfish casserole give it a try share the love with friends and family let them know what's going on over here send them come send them come tell me what you want to see me cooking next in my kitchen and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy